Today, I will speak about self-love. You never can love yourself too much. <laughs> if you feel angry, sometimes, look at yourself. Are you loving yourself sufficiently? Because if you were loving yourself, you wouldn't be angry at all. You would shine with kindness. If you feel sad sometimes, look at your self-love. If you were fully loving yourself, you wouldn't be sad. You would be grateful, joyful. You would be in love. You would be in ecstasy all the time. So all problems in the world, look at them. If there is a war somewhere, it's not because them are being bad, not because of the problems, it's about yourself loving yourself. It's all about self-love. Because if you are love, you shine so brightly, you shine so kindly, and you accept everything as it is because you understand that everything has its time and its place. Even the war, even negativity, you would appreciate everything as it is. You would be shining with acceptance. If you feel pain, look at your self-love. Because when you are in love, when you are full and shining with love, there is no pain. So pain is an indicator, a sign, there is something wrong with your self-love. All of you, everyone, grew up on earth. And everyone was traumatized by the earth heaviness, by the earth parents, by the earth upbringing. Everyone was traumatized by your childhood. That is when you were separated from your self-love. Now, connect back. Connect back to it. Because at some point, when you were in the ideal initial state, you were fully connected to love. You were incarnation of love. You were incarnation of perfection. You were a shining globe, shining fire, full of energy. It's only the earth experience which trims your wings, which trims your love, which makes you doubt. It's only by diving into darkness you feel disconnected. It's only by diving into darkness you feel unloved. Your science has discovered that your leaders are energized by the energy of the masses, by the energy of the people. Alpha males in a pack are fed by the energy of people. They feel loved and that gives them extra strength. That is in the nature of 
pack animals, of collective animals. Their leaders, their soldiers, their front line is supported by everybody. They feel loved and that energizes them. But the secret is that love comes from the universe. It is just the self-perception that you are worthy, that you are at the top. That self-perception, self-awareness that you are chosen is sufficient to obtain obtain love from the universe obtain energy from the universe obtain the line in, uh, obtaining life force from the universe just self perception that i am chosen i am selected i am at the top i am first <laughs> I am first is sufficient to be energized, is sufficient to get connected to your life force, to your source of energy. Look at the root of Jewish tradition. Not many people know that they are selected people. Not many people know that they have covenant with God. But this is the key of Jewish energy, of Jewish perseverance, of Jewish luck, of Jewish success. Just strongly, without doubt, Connecting to the source, knowing that you individually are selected. You are in direct covenant with God. You are in a relationship with God. You are in a love relationship with God. You are in love that you and God have direct connection. You see, that is sufficient. Being chosen is sufficient. So now realize you can go beyond that. It's not God has chosen you. It is that you can choose to be in a relationship with God. That is that simple. There is no limitation. It's just a choice. To be in relationship with God. To be in love. Just decide. It's a choice. It's not something which comes from outside. It is a choice to be in love with God. Many of you, even subconsciously, look, at, look around and have... A measure. Be analytical and ask yourself daily. Many of you ask yourself daily. Do the gods smile to me today? It is very practical. It goes through generations. It goes through generational memory from prehistoric times forever. Do the gods smile to us today? Is there anything that we did that caused God's frown at us? Look at the Old Testament. It's all about bad things happen because God is angry. Because you violated something. Because you are not worthy. The whole pattern of the Old Testament is about becoming worthy. 
Go beyond that. Go beyond that. Realize it's up to you. Realize it's up to you to choose. Realize it is an error of perception to decide that God is frowning at you. It's an error of perception. It's never the case. It's never the case. It's just an error. It's not God which decides for you how much luck to give you. It's, it's your dream. It is what you are thinking, what you are perceiving. It's your perception. It's your perception. At any point, at any moment, at any dark moment, it's up to you to turn things around. Just breathe. Just keep breathing. Keep, keep the faith. Keep the positivity. Keep the flame burning. Keep looking at light. Keep the state of being in love. So at any moment, at any dark moment, at any turn, you always have an option to say, Mom, I love you. Divine Mother, I love you. Divine Father, I love you. That's all. You turn the things around just with love, with the positivity. Find that sparkle, that root, that center. Find it. It's it. Find that center in yourself, which still has light, and shine it brighter. Inflate it. Inflame it. If you have to, if you cannot give yourself enough love, do little things which are easy, which are possible. Do little steps. Which can be accomplished. And when you accomplish something, it gives you the sense of accomplishment, the sense of success. Just tiny tiny, tiny, minute success. When you are old, anything can be a success. Waking up can be success. Getting up can be a success. Doing something, just breathing can be a success. It doesn't have to be big. Do that little, little stuff which you can do. There is always something you can do. And with this little success, remember, it is a sparkle, it is a beginning, it's always a beginning, and then you can bring, big, bring the peace back to you. Bring the peace back to you. There is always an opportunity to come back. There is always. Look at your models of success, your leaders, famous people who are known to be accomplishing something or have a, having had accomplished something. Look at their biographies. Look how many times they were complete failures. And how many times did they come back? And how did they do this? Only through self-love. Only through perseverance. Only through starting over. Only through dropping stuff. Dropping hopeless projects and dropping hopeless sadnesses. Basically, you don't drag with yourself your past failures. You make conclusions you wrap it up 
wrap it up, pack it, put it on the shelf. Whatever failure was there, whatever mistake was there, whatever trauma was there, just wrap it up. The big vortex of pain, wrap it up, condense it into a little dot. Check mark, put it in a locker. Mark the locker. It was a pain. Check mark. Done. And now you have space to start over. Until your last breath, there is always a space to start over. Space time to start over. Always a moment to start over. In relationships, start with self-love. Continue with self-love. When you are appreciating yourself enough, when you are loving yourself enough, you can have a relationship with anyone. Or you can have a relationship with no one and you would still be in a relationship. It's all inside. It's all a big dream of life. It's up to you how to dream it. You are in control. Yes, in uh, the matrix of the, in the dream matrix, there are waves, there are changes of vibration. The moon goes through its phases, there is time for expansion, time for contraction. Some planets are ascending, some planets are in retrograde, some planets are approaching, some planets, planets are changing their phase of movement. It's all part of the illusion, all, all part of the matrix. So appreciate that these changes in the success, this changes in luck, this changes in outside illusion, in the outside, this changes in the illusion of outside world. They're natural, they are pre programmed, they're part of the big creation. Appreciate them. So when the night comes, don't feel abandoned. Don't feel abandoned by the gods. When the rain starts, when the weather goes bad, when the politics goes bad, when people seemingly Stop showing them, showing you their appreciation. Take it easy. Look at your self-love. There is always plenty of self-love. There is always plenty of self-appreciation. Don't be critical on yourself. So when there is a critical message coming, don't make your flame shine dimmer. Don't repress your vibration take it take any criticism take any negativity which comes your way only as a suggestion to change nothing else but the strength of your flame keep it strong it's not that you have to stop it's not that you have to wrap up it's not that you have to stop loving yourself it's not that you're being judged even if god says that the God is angry at you. It's not that you are being judged, not at all. Not at all. It's only about change. So, one of the basics, one of the bases, one of the fundamentals of life is that you got to change. Changing is the only way of survival, the only way of continuing your flame. Flame is 
by itself. Flame by itself is a change. Right? You are a flame. The life is an illusion, but the flame is real. You are a change. So if there is something on your way, it means that you, your flame has to change. Not to stop, not to become dim, dimmer, but to change. So embrace being changed all the time. Be open, vulnerable. What's the word? Impressionable, yes. Impressionable, emotional. It's all about emotions. Experience the world. If you stop experiencing the world, if you stop changing yourself, you're dead. So don't be afraid of anything coming your way. Be afraid to stop being changing. Be afraid of not changing. That's the only fear you have, have to have. So when something comes your way, when you stuck, when you are stuck, when you got pain, it means you got to change your consciousness, your self-perception, your awareness has to change. Oh, you become aware of the pain? So become aware of it. Become aware, change, transform, so the pain becomes part of your awareness and then it disappears. Love, not, not only your mind, not only your emotions, love your body. The illusion of the world, the illusion of love starts with your body. Your body is the mechanism which you use to synthesize the illusion of life. It goes like that, soul, body, outside world. It's a dream in which the body is an intermediary step. So transform the world outside through your body. Love your body passionately. <laughs> Respect it passionately. Become part of your body. Live in your body. Return to your body. Inhabit. <laughs> Inhabit your body. Be, become an inhabitant. It's your country. That's where the illusion of life burns, exists, transforms. When It's where the flame burns of your illusion of life. When you leave your body, you will be in another form. But until then, stay in your body and be in love with that body. Be kind to your body. It's not you, it's your temporary home, but respect this temporary home. Because this is a tool for you to learn and tool for you to harmonize the collective illusion. You are not alone in creating the collective illusion. You are cooperating, co-creating the collective illusion with many others, with many, many others, other souls. So you are dreaming the same dream. You're playing the same drama, playing the same collective game, same computer game. You are harmonizing. That's the idea. You start with junk. You start with dirt. You start with disharmony. And you dream your dream to harmonize it to become, to make it harmonious, to make it beautiful. So be open to beauty at any time. When you see not beauty, when you see ugliness, look at the different angle, look at multiple angles until you find the beauty. That's what you are supposed to do. That's what I invite you to do. Become a machine, become a machine of positivity, Posi become a
a machine of positivity, positivizer. Yeah, positivizer. Positivize everything. Improve everything. Yes, improver. Become professional improver, harmonizer. Composer. Remember your inner tune, inner melody. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I invite you to do. To bring your melody to this dream and become a harmonizer. Harmonize the outside illusion through your melody. Play your tune. Be creative. Transform. Change yourself. And with that, harmonize the world. Change yourself and with that, harmonize the world. That's it. I invite comments and questions if there are any. There is no sound so far. Hello. Hello. Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. <laughs> Shanti, my name is Shanti. <laughs> um, I have a question. My uh, this is uh, my brother suddenly took sick in India and um, I'd like to see him uh, he's in the hospital right now Will, is he going to make it before I see him what's wrong with him um, he, he was very healthy, and then he had uh, little um, uh, little blood clots in the brain. Ah. So they opened that up, and then he had um, candida in the mouth. It's like so he could not eat anything at home. He get, became really weak, so they had to take him back to the hospital. So they've got IV and everything, feeding him through, and then apparently he's doing better. But, you know, I just want to, I've got things I have to do here, and I didn't want to rush there, so um, do I need to rush there, or can I wait a little bit? Is he conscious? Yes. Can you speak to him on the phone? No. No. I well, see. he doesn't want to talk right now. He feels weak. I see. Are there family people who can take care of him? Yes, there are plenty of people. He's, he's, you know, he's well in the hospital. Everybody takes care of him, and there are plenty of family people around. I will give you my opinion. Take it as uh, just an opinion. I would say it matters what you feel. In practical matters, it doesn't really matter when you fly. Even if he dies and you fly later, it's okay. There is nothing practically to be done at the moment. You can send your healing to him from the distance as well as you can send healing in person. Maybe it's even easier in the distance because you are in a state of 
higher vibration at the moment. When you come there, it will be harder for you because you will be swamped with the energies of the places, which would be very different. Yes, that's true. So do whatever is uh, easy. Your intention to go is good, but take care of your business first. And whenever you come, which would be wonderful, whenever that time is, uh, you decide on the time. Would you please send him some energy, Yogananda? Just a second. Help me. Allah Nuhum. You see, it is an appropriate time for his soul to go, but yet there is still unfinished business, there is still unfinished service which can be done. So it's for him to decide whether to stay on earth and continue or to leave. It's, it's up to him, it's his choice. And I would recommend you respect his choice because the soul knows better whether it wants to continue servicing here or it wants to go home. It's, it's, um, it's not a bad way to leave. It's not a bad time for to leave. I see children involved. I see much, um, much connections, many connections. So people are holding him back. People are holding him here on earth. But it's up to him to, to decide whether to go or stay. I would suggest send him your healing and energy without holding his decision, without holding his head. It's up to him what to choose. Give him freedom. And that freedom can be very healing. There are also many unsolved, unsolved inner dramas, inner lessons, inner stresses in his mind, which, which he also needs to resolve one way or another. So send your prayers for him to become in peace with his own mind. Become in peace with his own traumas. So send him love without grounding him. Sometimes coming back can be very enlightening. You know that. When you are at the cross point, coming back to earth can be very enlightening. You can come back a new person, with a new charge, with a new mission, with a new understanding. So I uh, 
invite much love, much energy, much flame to come his way without holding his hand, without deciding for him what to do. Is there anything else? Well, last time I asked you to hold your love so I wouldn't cry. But then I felt your love move away from my heart and that didn't feel good. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, I so please pour everything in. I will just be whole and I will, you know, I will absorb it. So here you go. What you do, you love yourself. You discover that energy in yourself. I am not outside. I'm not moving away. I'm there. <laughs> it's only up to you to love yourself through my vibration or through any other vibration. I will give you the voice again. <laughs> hold on to it. It's up to you to hold it or up to you to let it go. But... Um, it is, uh, it's okay either way. It's okay either way. You are you and I'm part of you. You are you and I'm part of you. You are you and I am part of you. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be emotionally down. It's okay to be falling apart. It's not about staying strong all the time. Sometimes you have to be falling apart because it is change, it is transformation. Falling apart is appropriate for certain times. Crying is appropriate. Letting go of things is appropriate. Allowing things to go down is appropriate. Even Letting beloved people to die is appropriate. Even letting beloved animals animals to die is appropriate. It's not for you to decide whether for them to live or not. For you, it's only to decide to love yourself and through yourself to love them without holding their in any ways, without holding their hand, without holding their life. It's for them to decide. You do your work, you do your service, you send your love. And they decide. Ultimate trust, ultimate freedom. Ultimate trust, ultimate freedom. Allah, no. oh, liberation. Liberate yourself. Liberate them. Anyone is free. You're sending your love without holding on to anything. That is Buddhist detachment. That is detachment. It is freedom. Freedom, freedom, loss, no attraction to anything. Just shine without any conditions. Unco that in is unconditional love. I love you so much, I can let you go at any point because you are part of me, I am part of you, we are one. That is why I'm not setting up any conditions. Unconditional. Unattachment. Freedom, ultimate liberation. Shine, shine, be in love, that's your only responsibility. Be kind, that's your only responsibility. Kindness doesn't mean to hold anyone. 
Unless, of course, you're a parent and you have a small child. That's a different situation. Allah You are chosen because you can just be chosen. If you wish to, you are chosen. That's it. Allah Allah You are a citizen of earth because you are born on earth. Now you can choose yourself to be chosen. You are chosen just because you were born on earth. You have been chosen to be born on earth. That's it. You are chosen. Is there anything else? I want to give the others a chance to talk. Anyone? <laughs> I guess it will be me to talk. All right, so next topic I wanted to bring up, which comes very close to all the topics before. To stay strong in the hard times. In the hard times, stay hard times already here. Look around, it's hard times. <laughs> hard times. Stay strong now. And when the times become even harder, when a big change is coming. Stay as strong as ever. Be yourself as ever. Be loving yourself as ever. Don't feel at any moment that you have been abandoned by God. No, no, no. Luck didn't stop to smile to you. Even if you are dying, even if you die, it's all right. You just do your job. You just do your work. That's all is required. You are shine, you shine. You shine your flame, you shine your light. You shine your love. You shine your tune, you play your tune, you sing your tune. That's all is required. Be kind to others. That's all is required. In fact, Expect a big change and welcome a big change. Whatever it is, even if it is negative, there is time for negativity as well because the world is in crisis. You can see it everywhere. So the crisis has its own laws, its own progression, and negativity is part of this natural progression. So take it as natural progression. Don't hold on to the past. Don't hold on to the present. Don't hold on to anything except self-love, self-respect, self-honor, and take care of your business and be flexible. Be ready to change. Be ready to run away. Be ready to run forward. Be ready to move, shift, transform, whatever. There will be always guidance. You are being guided. You know it very well. Very well. 
You are being guided. You see, it's all a dream, all a collective dream. And in this dream, there is always a part for you. And there is always a part of a savior of the world, of Jesus, of... You don't have to be crossed. You don't have to go on the cross, necessarily. But of a transformer, of a positivizer, of a harmonizer. There will be a part for you which is predetermined, in a way. What is predetermined? That there will be a part for you. But how do you play it? It's not predetermined. Even the prompts are not predetermined. Your spirit guides, your higher self, and many other helpers are preparing that part for you. So when the change is coming, don't hold on to the past. Be ready to change yourself and to harmonize the world through your action, through your work, through your shine, through your flame, through your melody. Because for everyone, there will be a part, a place where you act. Sometimes, for some of you, it's only required to be an observer. So maybe the only thing is for you is to look around and transform yourself through your emotions, through your mind, through your uh, natural vibrations, because you have unique angle of how you look at things so just that could be sufficient for some of you for many of you it would be helping others teaching others for many of you it would be actual action you might be doing certain things sometimes things that you might be doing could seem to you minor but they could be leading to a bigger transformation and you can see that transformation you can see your role in that bigger transformation only later from certain perspective when you look back you see you would see that certain lessons that you learned were necessary for you and were necessary for the world to transform so that is the timeless perspective which you cannot see now, but you can appreciate and by looking back at your life, you can see how you did well and you see how you did mistakes and how there was opportunities and how some opportunities you missed because you were afraid and some opportunities were not for you because it wasn't positive for you. Don't judge yourself in terms of limiting your flame. Don't judge yourself in terms of shutting down your vibration. Keep your vibration high no matter what. Only use reflections and looking back for harmonizing your vibration, for clarifying your vibration, for purifying your vibration. Only for transforming to the better, not for shutting down. There is a tradition in the modern world to repress self-expression. You know it really well, how you repress self-expression all the time. With people, even in writing, even with yourself. Instead of dancing, creating, singing, composing, realizing yourself. Instead of self-realization, you sit repressed. You sit repressed. Unfold yourself. Liberate yourself. You don't have to be sitting repressing yourself. Be true to yourself. Sometimes it takes a little push. A little push. Push yourself outside. Push yourself closer to nature. Push yourself to self-expression. Sometimes it takes a little push and then you are surprised how much did you go with that little push? How much did you evolve with the little push? How much more energy you got just by 
getting outside, by getting out of the box. But yet, of course, be practical. You need experience. Don't jump too far. Don't jump off the bridge. Just learn to walk before you run. If you run, if you jump, take a parachute with you. <laughs> Always, often, you get second chance, third chance, fourth chance. So practice your art. Improve your art. Bring your teachers, bring outside knowledge, consult with others, and then decide for yourself, express yourself. So the point is, a big change is coming. You don't have to shut down. You don't have to be repressed. You don't have to be desperate. No, no, never be desperate. Desperation is not what I meant. Sadness sometimes, yes, but not desperation. Self-reflection self sometimes, yes. Crying sometimes, yes. But only for a period to emotionally process things, to emotionally in internalize things, to decide what you are, to go down to your root. But later, come back, choose to smile, choose to be positive and move forward. When negative things happen, when big change happens, stay strong. Create now for yourself something that you carry with yourself, something inner strength, nothing outside, just inner strength, certain formulas. Just OM is sufficient. Charge yourself, charge your mantras, your chants with energy. So now when things are Okay, when you have time, create your mantra, hum, 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 ram, 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 whatever you choose to. Pick your favorite saint, just repeat the name of your favorite saint, favorite God, favorite representation of God, favorite even human, favorite enlightened human, and just repeat their name. And charge that name with the strength. Charge it with repetition, with hundreds of repetitions. Charge it with strength. So when things happen negative, you can hold on to that repetition because that is always with you. Like breathing, you can always repeat the mantra. It's that simple. You have breathing always in control. And you have mantras always in control. Even if you lose your voice, you still can repeat the mantra inside. So hold on to that mantra, and that with, will allow you to come back to this understanding. You are perfect. You are perfect. You are in your place. You are just dreaming. You are just dreaming. That's all. You are just dreaming. So no matter what happens outside, you are just dreaming. So prepare yourself for the change and be ready to change inside without shutting down your flame. That's it. There was voice coming. Is it is somebody trying to speak? This is Carol. Hey Carol. Hi, Thank you for speaking. I was um, absorbing everything you were saying and I'm having a tougher time now in my caregiving with my sister because she really hurt herself um, and now she requires even more care wound care going to doctors all the time I'm I'm feeling ah, can I do this and then there's going to be world changes and then okay chant chant your favorite saint <laughs> you'll be fine <laughs> yeah keep breathing yeah sometimes things are really tough when you take care of your sister, remember to take care of yourself too. Sometimes it is a tough choice. Whose life is more important, yours or hers? Find that golden ratio, golden middle, golden balance where 
you are doing what you're supposed to do when it goes in harmony that it is just an opportunity for you a prompt for you to be of service and grow It's also an opportunity for you to develop your healing abilities. Don't overdo doctors. Some doctors are beautiful and wonderful healers, but the whole medical system is in such a crisis that you have to decide, you have to educate yourself, become a doctor yourself. Educate your sister, let her be in control of your of your health it is one of the biggest lessons of the modern life to become a doctor by learning the medicine with your own sicknesses and sicknesses of your close people hold on a second You don't have to do more than a miracle. You just do whatever you're supposed to do, but not more. Don't hold on to anything. Let people go through their lessons. Sometimes the pains are for them to, to heal, for themselves to heal. You give them prompts, you give them what they need, you give them necessary touch, necessary compassion, necessary kindness, necessary physical help, but not preventing them from learning their lessons. Give them a part in that as well. Don't against don't go don't go against the flow. There is certain things which require thinking outside the the box. So sometimes you fight certain things, but then there is aha, uh -huh. and uh, an answer comes from outside of your frame of reference, frame of thinking. It often happens with health as well. There is a certain inference from outside and, oh, we did that wrong. And then things change. Let me send you some energy, some uh, tune. So it's not the energy exactly, it is a tuning which you convert to energy on your side. Don't forget to look at the sky. There is much in the sky, much in the stars, much in the clouds, much in the air. Don't forget to come outside and look at the sky. It is much of healing that comes from the sky, much of 
enlightenment that comes from the sky. Sky is uh, as important as Earth. It is a very different source of spiritual energy. So looking at the sky, it's not because a human looking God is sitting there. It's because sky is full of healing energy. Because sky is full of wisdom. Sky is of certain multitude of vibrations which are very helpful to you. Any more comments, questions here or anywhere? Very helpful. Thank you, Yogananda. Much love to you. Thank you. Much love. Yes. Just speak closer to microphone. You can whisper. I can hear you. <laughs> Just relax, whatever. If you cannot speak, that's fine. You can write. <laughs> you see, the first step to healing is is to relax. Breathe through the nose. Place your hands on your throat, like that. Relax. You don't need to do anything. You need to achieve anything. You don't need to do. Uh, just your change that you, are, you need to do is through relaxation. Not through achievement, but through relaxation. I will give you some sound and just to smooth it. It's okay. Things are fine. Even if you don't have the voice, you can whisper. Be friends with the snake energy. Snakes are just kind of reptiles without legs. Shh. Very ancient, very wise, very wise. And we are relatives with them. We moved away from them, but we are. We carry the snake energy with us because we, we have a common ancestry. All humans have common ancestry with snakes. Shh. And snakes are relatives of birds. They all lay eggs. And we have we are relatives of birds. Also, although we give live birth, live birth, birth. Shh, things are fine. It's all right. It's all right. Step outside of the box. Step outside of your limitations. Step outside of your pains. There is so much energy coming towards you. You are love. You are made of love. You cannot be anything but love because you are part of love. Your root is love. Your self-expression is love. You are part of God's love. You carry it through yourself. All that you meet is love. Everything, all matter is made of love. Shh. 
Work on your sleep. When you go to sleep, desire to relax. It's relaxation. And much of the work for you is done in a dream state. <laughs> so dream state is actually... <laughs> yes. Um, realize what is called dream is actually a awakened state. What is called a awakened state is actually a dream. It is... <laughs> just a point of perspective it's just because of certain perspective when you look from the dream what you see in the dream is called awakening and then when you wake up it's called dream but but there is a certain veil which you cross back and forth the spirit world you get there in dream and the dream world the material world you get there when you're awake so when you get back into the dream into the spirit world there is a lot of relaxation and healing needed. So intend now to relax in your dream. Intend now to heal in your dream. There is much more work done in the dream than in the physical world. Physical world is for experiencing, learning lessons, acting. And the spirit world, the dream world is for Mm, creating future scenarios for healing, for energizing, for exchanging your physical life experiences with your soul, with your oversoul, with the uh, Akashic records, with the library of records. So you upload your experiences of the day to the Akashic records and you download the wisdom of your spirit friends to your to your operative mind operational mind and then when you wake up you know more answers and more necessary programs for function so respect your dream and intend to relax and heal in your dream <laughs> laughter is very healing so Laugh at yourself, laugh at the circumstances of your life. Smile, smile, smile. It's all about relaxation and smile. It's all about perception and perspective. You can perceive yourself as a full success, fully loved person, fully enlightened person. It's all about self-perception. Look at yourself from the point of view of acceptance. Accept yourself. Accept whatever state of your body is. Just accept it. It's the main step for healing. Accept, accept, accept yourself. Allah Awaken to love. Awaken to be healed. Awaken to health. Awaken to your perfection, your state of perfection, your state of harmony. It's just the point of awareness. It's the point, it is an opportunity to become aware of harmony. The harmony is near, it is in your nature, it's just discovering the harmony in your nature. Yes. Um, uh, it's not something external, it's not something to require hard work, it's requiring playful, easy work. Just awaken the harmony is already within you. It's not about creating the harmony, it's about throwing away disharmony. When you clear yourself up, when you take an image of cleaning whatever image is dear to you, like take a napkin and Windex, imagine yourself cleaning yourself, your soul, your all your bodies, etheric bodies, astral bodies, your physical body, just clean gently with some soap and water and little shower 
and discover harmony it's there there is nothing else it's not to be discovered outside harmony is already there inside so remove all the dirt remove all the trauma tragedy all their education throw it away all the negative education all the negative brainwashing discover the purity and harmony and flame it's all there you are a lamp full of flame just the 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 the, the glass outside is dirty so you wash the glass and it shines that's how it is Allah. That's all. You're welcome. <coughs> Cough and laugh. Coughing is good for you. Not always, but a certain amount. Just cough out the negativity. Cough out the negativity. And sneeze out the negativity. Release, release, release. It's all physiological release. Physiological detox. Detox, detox, detox. Any more comments, questions? Kim. Say again. This is Kim. Hey, Kim. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Can, you, hello. Can you walk us through a meditation, a healing meditation? I missed the first part. Can I do what? Can I uh, walk, uh, walk us through a healing meditation? Walk you. Okay, got it. Yeah. Just uh, everyone. Yeah. What is the topic of today's healing meditation? What do you want? Um, well, I guess for everyone. I think everyone is just needing self-healing and then healing for their family and just for the world. Everyone. <sighs> All right. Of course. Uh, relax, 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 relax. Sit comfortably, lie down comfortably, relax in a comfortable way so you can really relax. And at the end, I will uh, turn off the, the broadcast and uh, you can stay relaxed. You don't have to stop. You can continue your healing meditation after that. We invite the image of the Divine Mother. Beautiful one, humanized one. Kind, shiny, dear one. Allah, 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 Relax, 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 really. Really, there is time for relaxation. You cannot be tense all the time. Now is a perfect time for relaxing. Trust yourself. Trust. 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 The absolute, the top perfection top perfection of nature, top perfection of God, trust, top consciousness. You are not far from it. You are directly, directly linked to the top consciousness, to God. Mother, father, mom, dad, you are connected to them anytime you are in their light. You are in their light. 
Don't trick yourself. Don't pretend to be meditating. Meditation is something not for me, not for them, not for God. It is only for you. So the deeper you go is the better. The purpose is to reconnect to your inner self fully, to reconnect to the source of love, to the source of light fully. To take in you optimal amount, optimal amount, big optimal amount of love, of energy. Flash everything with a new energy. The purpose is to change, to transform into harmony. To your true vibration, to your true image, to your true... Healthy image, that's the purpose. There is no trick, just go and become yourself. Forget, drop all what is not needed. Keep dropping all negativity, all repressive things, all restrictions. Liberate yourself from junk. <laughs> Smile. Discover yourself, liberate yourself from junk and discover your true harmonized image. That's all. The purpose is to harmonize. Um, um, Connect to your heart. Place your palms on your heart and connect to your heart energy. Allahumma Connect to the water of the earth, to the oceans. The big part of the surface is oceans. The harmony is still there. Life is still there. They are beautiful. You dive, your, do astral diving, astral traveling, astral travel through the oceans. Just shine your light there and go through the waters and dive deeper and deeper into the ocean. It's astral travel, so you don't need air there. You're better than fish. You can really travel and nothing can harm you. You're good. Allah. You're protected. Connect to the idea of dolphins. Swim with the dolphins in your beautiful human body, astral form of astral shape, astral projection of your human body. Find the dolphins you like. Step towards them and see which dolphin, which one dolphin comes to you. For each of you, it will be a different dolphin. Just meet it. Embrace it. And let that dolphin swim with you. Allah. 
You see, the waves on the ocean are the reflection of the life of the ocean. It is the reflection how the ocean is conscious and alive. It is the representation, it is visualization, the big waves going through the ocean is a representation of the life, a representation of the consciousness which is not human, not human. It is higher consciousness present on the planet. Connect to this consciousness, awareness, self-awareness, self-perception of the ocean, of the water. You are part of it. You are, in essence, a wave of the ocean. You are a wave of the ocean. Your body is a wave of the ocean. You are one with, with the ocean. So reunite with the ocean. Swim with the dolphin. Let the dolphin go wherever the dolphin wants and just embrace it and stay in your astral body with the dolphin and let them show you the underwater beauty. There is so much beauty there. In the day, at night, everything is glowing in infrared. Everything is glowing in visible light. Everything is making beautiful sounds which go beyond human hearing sound range. It goes in infrasound, ultrasound. It's beautiful. There is so much music there is so much communication. It's one, one collective dance, one collective consciousness, one collective beautiful harmonized organism where humans have very little presence. So it is natural, it is harmonized, it is divine here on earth, divine presence here on earth. And you are there you are being healed through the connection to the divine harmony in the ocean. Allaham, Allaham, Allaham. You see, the huge waves of the ocean in any weather cannot damage dolphins. Dolphins feel comfortable there at any weather, at any size of the waves. Even if it is rain, even if it is um, smooth weather, it doesn't really matter. You are comfortable at any time. With dolphins in your astral body, you can swim on the surface, you can swim down, down under the water. You can enjoy the harmony, you can enjoy the sounds, the lights, the texture of dolphins, the texture of water. Allah. Embrace your negativity too. Take your negativity with yourself. Your power is in harmony of positivity and negativity. Your yin and yang. You are made of everything. You are in harmony. Darkness and light are all part of you. Harmonize them. Bring them into a musical harmony, into a crystal structure. You see, a crystal contains positive charge and negative charge. It has light and no light. It has light and darkness. It has energy and no energy. It's all in harmony. It's all alive. It's all conscious. It's all full of love. Allah. Embrace your dark side. Embrace it. Accept your dark side. Don't fight it. Embrace it. Don't be a slave to it. Embrace it with love. You are above the fight between light and dark. You are above the fight between light and dark. You are 
harmony between light and dark. You harm. You are the interaction. You are yin and yang together. Keep, let your physical body keep breathing deeply, consciously, with a meaning. You breathe in the love, you breathe in the energy and absorb it in your body. Um, Don't be too serious. Don't be too serious. Take it lightly. Smile. 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 Relax. Only with smile. Only with smile you can harmonize. You can find the harmony between light and darkness. Only with a smile. Because it's all one joke. It's all one big joke. It's all many laughters. You are made of laughter. You are made of the wave and wave and laughter is of the same energy. Love, wave and laughter and fire are all the same. It's all the same energy intertwined. You are laughter. You are joy. You are laughter. You are joy. You are kindness. You are tenderness. Tenderness is the key for the vitality, vitality, because to be alive you need to change constantly. And tenderness is acceptance. You accept the input from outside. You accept the information. You can accept the changes coming from outside into your awareness. And you tenderly accept it, you tenderly transform yourself. You transform the world through yourself. You transform yourself to accept the changes coming into your awareness. <laughs> I'm living in a minute, but you stay calm, you stay relaxed, you stay in joy. Allah, 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 fine, you go deep and relax, 
stay in joy, stay in harmony, stay with yourself, be comfortable staying by yourself with yourself, discover who you are, discover who you are. Everything else are just prompts for you to discover who you are. Be in peace, be in harmony, be in love, be in love. Be in Mm-hmm.